Welcome back to the world of Bobby Wonder. Oh, it's a very exciting day here in Pflugerville. Take your kid to work day. Apparently they do this every year when kids turn 10 and Bobby is 10. And of course, Bobby doesn't go anywhere without me strapped to his belt, so I'm going too. Oh, this should be very exciting. You know, Mom, I could have flown over to your office. I seem to recall you're still having some trouble sticking your landings. I was worried crashing into the lobby might not be great for your reputation. Oh, reputation management, that's important. We need everyone in Pflugerville to think Bobby knows what he's doing. That's a tall order if there ever was one. Hey, I do a great job protecting Pflugerville from Mighty Mila. Crash landing is part of my personality. But Grabstack is right, Bobby. If you crash land into a building, well, People might think you're... I think reckless is the word you're looking for. If by reckless you mean awesome, then you're correct. Crash landing is one of the best parts of my day. Well, it's not the best part of my day. And here we are. The Pflugerville Insurance Company. Uh, Okay, and what do you do here again? I write up insurance policies that protect the people of Pflugerville from disasters. Like having Bobby Wonder crash into your house? Exactly. Come on, the day at the Pflugerville Insurance Company starts with donuts. Oh, I do like a good donut. Glazed. No, 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 hang on. A maple bar and a spot of tea, if you please. Oh, say this office situation is sounding pretty good. I could fly from here to the front door. I mean, how much damage could I really do? Feet on the ground, Bobby. Let's try to make a good first impression. And here we are, the Pflugerville Insurance Company. Isn't it exciting? Um, sure, Mom. Oh, look at all the desks and the computers. Uh, You know, this might actually suit me. I have a mind for business, and this superhero stuff is an awful lot of work. Where do I apply? Come on, Grabstack. You'd never want to stop being my sidekick. We have a blast together. Yeah, but they have donuts, and it's nice and quiet, and there's no risk of injury. I mean, come on. What would be safer than an insurance company? Come on, you two. I'll show you where my desk is, and then we can meet my boss. (laughs) You'll love Mr. Blan Blan. Mr. Blan Blan? (laughs) Let me guess. His first name is Billy Bob? You're right. Billy Bob Blan Blan. Don't be alarmed by the size of his cowboy hat. It's really something. Ah, and here we are, my desk. Isn't it exciting? See, I've got my desk chair and my computer and my phone. Oh, and the picture of you and me and Dad. Pretty cool, right? Oh, just think of all the work I could get done here. I could write the great American novel. I need to speak with Billy Bob Bland Bland. This is happening. Now, about those donuts. Let's go meet the boss first. It's an important part of Bring Your Kid to Work Day. Also, he's the keeper of the donuts. Well, lead the way. I don't know, Grabstack. This seems pretty dull. Don't you like the excitement of saving Pflugerville from Mighty Mila? I can already picture my desk. Nice white sheets of paper all stacked up, ready to be written on. Oh, and I'd have a little blankie. Keep my tiny legs warm. Good morning, Mr. Blan Blan. Well, how do you do? Are we off to a good start this morning? Selling lots of insurance policies? Whoa, that is a really big cowboy hat. It's like a tent. Uh, Good morning, Mr. Billy Bob Bland Bland. The name is Grabstack, and I'm here to apply for a job. And I must say, that is a fine hat and a marvelous accent you have. We may have been separated at birth. And who's this little firecracker? Grabstack, you say? I like the confidence. Have a donut. They're free. Oh, well, this just gets better and better. I don't suppose you have a spot of tea around here somewhere? You're a tea man, are you? How convenient. So am I. I got a pot on the ball right here. Oh, it's like I have met my twin. I mean, he's gigantic, but still. Now, Bobby, I'm sure your mother has shown you around the ranch. She's one of our best employees. What do you think so far? Mmm, this donut is blowing my mind. 
Oh, and the tea is piping hot. Um, it's great, Billy Bob Blam Blam. I mean, I'm not sure it's the kind of work I'd want to do, but I can see how a lot of people would like it. Well, it is very intense work. Very exciting. High stress. It's not for the faint of heart, that's for sure. Right. I can see that. So what's the interview process like around here, Mr. Billy Bob Blan Blan? I'm a crackerjack salesman and my phone skills are second to none. Oh, and I also bake. Ooh, I do like that confidence. Have a seat on my desk and let's hash out a deal. How exciting. Grabstack might actually get a job. But he already has a job. He's my sidekick. Nonsense. That's not a real job. It's a, what do you call it? It's a, it's a hobby. A hobby? Protecting Pflugerville from Mighty Mila is not a hobby. I'm not seeing a career path. I, I mean, what am I aspiring to anyway? Sidekick? Maybe super sidekick? Is that even a thing? I've stalled out, Bobby. Plus, I have donuts. Oh, let's get you a cowboy hat, Grabstack. You look silly in that thing. The hat is bigger than you are. Oh, but it fits like a glove. Top off my teacup, would you, Bobby? Pardon me, important Pflugerville Insurance work calls. Pflugerville Insurance Company, Billy Bob Bland Bland speaking. What can I help you with today? Always be helpful. Very important. Always be helpful. Check. On the job training. Oh, that's a good sign. I think I might actually get hired. But I haven't even fired you yet. You'd never fire me. Oh, yeah? Watch me. You wouldn't. You're fired. You can't fire me, because I quit. I fired you first. Now, boys, settle down. I don't get many crank calls around here, but that one was a doozy. Mr. Billy Bob Bland Bland, my schedule is cleared. I can go to work immediately. Some quack calling herself Mighty Mila, looking for asteroid insurance. Asteroid insurance? Huh. We haven't had an asteroid land in Pflugerville and well, let me see. That's never happened. Right. That's never happened. Well, that is the perfect insurance policy. She pays us, and there's no risk of ever having to cover a disaster, because it won't happen. Actually, you're right, Grabstick. Brilliant. Also, you're hired. Good, because I recently quit my job. You got fired. And don't even think about asking for a reference. We need to call Mighty Mila back and get her to sign on the dotted line. Grabstick. Are you up for the challenge? Challenge is my middle name. Traitor is your middle name. Doofus is your middle name. This is going much better than I expected. Well, I never. Who does Bobby Wonder think he is, anyway? This could be the end of the Bobby Wonder Grab Stack team. I'm going to need to find an apartment. I wonder how much this job for Billy Bob Bland Bland pays. Uh, let's take a quick break while I sort all this out. Come right back, though. I am about to make my very first sales call at the Pflugerville Insurance Company, and the big boss is here. Oh, boy. I'm a little bit nervous. Come on. Let's go dial this phone. Let's put this baby on the speakerphone so I can do a little coaching. First time can be a little nerve-wracking. Come on, Mighty Mila, pick up. I need this sale. Why would Mighty Mila call and ask for asteroid insurance? Well, obviously, because she's a blockhead. Uh, I'm not so sure about that. Mighty Mila is pretty smart. Mighty Mila's secret hideout. Who's calling? Oh, uh, hello, Mighty Mila. This is the Pflugerville Insurance Company returning your call. We'd be happy to sell you an asteroid policy. Grabstack? You're selling insurance now? I thought you were Bobby Wonder's sidekick. Oh, enough about me. Let's talk about you. I understand you're looking for asteroid insurance. I need to talk to Bobby Wonder. Can you get him for me? I've been calling his room all morning and getting no answer. I've got an emergency. Well, I've got a policy right here. It's very affordable. Close, Grabstack. Close. I I did I hear a yes? I think I heard a yes. <laughs> If you don't put Bobby Wonder on, I'm going to transform into a giant hammer and head over to your baking kitchen. Bobby, it's Mighty Mila for you. Uh, yeah, I've been standing here the whole time. We're on speakerphone. Bobby Wonder, um, <laughs> I might have caused a small problem. By small, do you mean gigantic? 
That depends on whether or not you think an asteroid heading straight for Pflugerville is a sizable problem or not. What? Well, in that case, the Pflugerville Insurance Company does not offer asteroid insurance. And he knows how to avoid risk. Oh, what a day I'm having. I'm going to guess you had something to do with this, Mighty Mila. I mean, technically, yes. I might have told Robozuki they hadn't really impressed me for a few days. Turns out, they're a very sensitive robot. And he used his tractor beam eyeball to pull an asteroid towards Pflugerville? Yeah, I'm not sure they understand what impressing me means. Apparently, they think having an asteroid hit Pflugerville is pretty great. Never trust a one-eyed robot. What are we going to do? Bobby, remember when you said crashing into things was better than we all thought? It's one of my superpowers. Well, I can't think of anything better to crash into than an asteroid heading for Pflugerville. Hey, you're right. I was made for this job. Mighty me, let me us in front of the Pflugerville Insurance Company in one minute. We're going to need your help. But we have training calls to make. You're my new star agent. Oh, I'm so sorry, Billy Bob Bland Bland. When duty calls, a sidekick is always there. As exciting as it sounded, I'm going to have to pass on the desk job. So you're not quitting? Well, as long as you're not firing me. Sorry, Bobby Wonder, I got mesmerized by the lights and the celebrity of it all. It is all pretty mesmerizing. And you're not fired. You're my best good buddy. Come on, let's go save the world. That plenty of contract lasted less than 20 seconds. That's got to be some kind of record. Say, can I keep the cowboy hat? It really goes with my stripy socks. It's a winning combination. Yeah, I'll consider it my gift for stopping an asteroid from hitting Pflugerville. Let's go! Hey, Mighty Mila. Thanks for saving us from the Pflugerville Insurance Company. I was getting really bored in there. There's Robozuki up in the sky! And here comes the asteroid! Mighty Mila, can you transform into a giant sucking vacuum cleaner hose? Why would I want to do that? Because when I slam into that thing, it's going to create about a million tiny asteroids. You can catch them so they don't hit buildings and houses. Good plan, Bobby Blastoff. She's a giant vacuum cleaner hose! <laughs> and we're off! Like my contract at the Pflugerville Insurance Company. Okay. Ready to go headfirst into an asteroid? Um, not even close, but I have my helmet on. All right, let's do this. Oh, it worked! You're up, Mighty Mila! Vacuum cleaner engaged! Come on, Crab Stack. Let's get down there and see if we can help. Oh, nice landing. Thanks. We did it! We did it! I get it, little buddy. But you really can't be using your tractor beam eyeball to find asteroids. That's okay, Robozuki. You got me and Grabstack back together again. What a great job you did. Great teaming up with you, Bobby Asteroid Buster. That was some pretty great work you did there. Thanks, Mighty Mila. Got a bolt. I'm sorry I quit on you, Bobby. I'm sorry I fired you, Grabstack. Let's never do that again. Oh, you got a deal. Now, how about we head back there for another donut? All this superhero stuff made me hungry. You got it. Well, folks, I nearly took a desk job and wrote the great American novel. Oh, and I almost sold asteroid insurance to Mighty Mila. <laughs> Quite a day I'm having. Come back next time. <laughs> There's no telling what could happen. Mmm, this new cowboy hat is really me. Ooh, I wonder if I could get some spurs. Ooh, and a pony. Ooh, I do love a pony. Go, kid, go. Go, kid, go.